Tonight, traditional soda fountains. They may be in short supply these days, but our food guy says you can find one in Humboldt Park. And for nearly a decade, this neighborhood favorite has been a fixture there. In many cases, updating some of their flavors while still making everything from scratch. Boy, does that sound good. Steve Delinsky is here now with a taste. Steve? Hey, welcome to holiday pie season, both of you. Very excited about this time of year. Uh, sodas, egg creams, and milkshakes are a given. But the breakfast and lunch sandwiches always lure me back, to say nothing of the incredible pastries and pies that will win you over with their whimsical flavors. The past is inspiration at Spinning J Bakery and Soda Fountain, which hugs a well-worn corner in Humboldt Park. But the forces behind it don't let history get in the way of creativity. We are an old-fashioned soda fountain and lunch counter. We make everything in-house, all of our bread, pastry, pie. The 1920s era marble bar and bar stools were salvaged from Milwaukee. Most of the space was built using reclaimed and recycled materials. But they start fresh each day when it comes to sandwiches, where you've got a few good options first thing in the morning. So the breakfast sandwiches are usually on our homemade English muffins, scrambled egg, um, bacon from Slagle Farms. A homemade bialy with cream cheese is an excellent base for smoked trout and hot jardinera. The love child of a Jewish Italian deli, if there ever was one. And then we also do um, a Gravlox uh, bialy. Pastries and cookies run the gamut from old school to new school sort of classic stuff like the buttermilk biscuits, but we also do a buttermilk biscuit with blue cheese and herb. We always have a few things that are a little bit different too. So we have like a layered pastry with artichoke hearts, brie, and smoked gouda. Um, we do a cinnamon roll, but it's a sourdough cinnamon roll with malted vanilla icing. At lunch, there are usually five well-chosen sandwiches, including a stellar tuna melt with house-made pickles, dill, and sharp white cheddar stacked between slices of homemade sourdough. And then, of course, there's dessert, including a cake and pie lineup that will leave you with some hard decisions. Bunt cakes, we do a matcha tea cake with almonds. Instead of just a key lime pie, we have a key lime hibiscus pie with a blueberry compote. And we do a s'mores pie with a homemade marshmallow topping. We have a cheesecake with a guava topping. The cafe also serves as a de facto wine shop, coffee shop, and meeting place where there's always something tempting on display. So really classic, familiar, comforting stuff. Now, pie orders for the holidays are almost done. Their signature pie during Thanksgiving is a cranberry yuzu meringue pie, but you can't go wrong with any of their flavors. Do be on the lookout for a raspberry pear ginger crumble. Mm. I devoured one all by myself recently. <laughs> More info about Spitting Jay on our website, NBCChicago.com. Just look for the food guy.